Warning, 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 warning. The drama king is in the building. The drama king is in. 88 uh, Shade 45 Street Sweeper Radio DJ K Slate yeah. Drama King in the building Ashley Ray yeah. is in the building with me co-hosting tonight and we got the motherfucking <laughs> BX hip hop legend in the building Fat Joe K Slate what's up my brother Joe Crack what's going on man man I'm just so happy to be here what's up mama how you doing I'm good I'm having nostalgia over here I'll tell you why later no no I'm gonna tell you now why now though? okay cause he look crazy <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that. Um, I'm forever my like my two minutes of being a video girl. I was in a lean back video, so kids, oh! so kids like always will see that because it, it's the fucking song is legendary. Like, come on, you, hear that forever. you don't even remember people you helped. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. 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 I don't even know how I got there. Like, yeah. but I don't know, but that was good. Yeah, though. like kids will come up. Kids like my my son's friends. He's like 14. He'll be 15 in September. They'll see, see it your mom every night. Lean back, right? And he's like, wait a minute, shut up. But, <laughs> <laughs> At least you won with that cameo. Yeah. <laughs> that was a heavy one. Yeah, man. Slate was up in that joint. Huh? Yeah, oh, Slate. Man. I don't want to talk about the record. Actually, Yo. Lean Back, <laughs> the lyrics of Lean Back came from a K Slate mixtape. That's yeah. crazy. A lot of that's people know that. crazy. That one. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, of course. Slate, like, that's what I was doing. Like Slate had me like on rapid fire. Like every <laughs> week, yo, rhyme on my tape. Rhyme on my tape. <laughs> and one day I just went off on there and I was and I threw those lyrics on the lean back. Yeah. That's crazy. Just the hook or like the lyrics. The lyrics. Um the hook came after I was the, the hook was like a brainstorming. It was me and Khaled. And Dre, and then I was like, yo, like, Missy had that, is that your bitch? Yeah. And I was like, yo, she always repeat her hooks. That's when I figured out the 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 the, the power of repeating the hooks. Yeah. So that's I was like, yo, it got to go lean back. It got to go lean back. It got, and then the rest thing, the rest was history. We knew it was a, it was, yeah. a, it was. Yeah, you, we knew you, it. you called together a press conference <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> it had everybody and their mother there. It, he painted a picture like he was Picasso in that bitch. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yo. But you talked it into existence. Like, yeah. yo, and especially when you start doing the step in there in the meet, like, Ooh. yo, you killed that meeting. And it's, then the record came out and just. That was that. That was that. It's crazy because a lot of stuff, you know, I visualize a lot of stuff. And I say it, and then if you don't really know me, you'll be thinking I'm lying. Like, I'll be like, right. yo, I'm going to have the helicopter chasing the boat. I'm going to, and then when the young boys that be in the studio actually come to the video and it, and it happens, right. it's crazy. they be like, yo, yo, you wasn't lying. Yo, what's up? Uh -huh. I said what I said. Like, it's yeah. happening. But it's no different than all the way up. You came mm. to the studio to do my mm. album. Right, mm -hmm. Dan was in there, and we, we, we're videotaping. And he goes, "Slay, I'm telling you, but Joe got this other joint all the way up." And you was like, "Slay," when they hear that, nah, 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 nah. like, and this was like, had it been November, December? No, no, no. You was a prime time. Yeah, you was yeah. prime time. Yeah. When I came to see you in the studio downtown, it was like we get a half before we let that thing yeah. go. So then we got into talking. I was like, "Yo, Slade," and you was looking at me like. For real, Joe? I was like, <laughs> yo, yo, man, he's seen so many bullshit in his life. So he's like, for real, Joe, you talking like that? And then you went into the last time you talked to me like this was lean back. Yeah, oh. yeah. You know, How long ago was that? That was a long that time. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? Color we and this new joint. It's disrespectful, man. It's very, it's very disrespectful. I'm an old school dude. So anytime I hear Dennis Edwards, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, that's that, good it, in any black it, party at two in the morning. I don't mm. care who you nah, are. That's in, and that's good in any Harlem, exactly. nigga. Exactly. That and oh, 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 oh that shit good before, in any before I let go, picnic. We dancing. Hey yo, my nigga, that's good in any picnic, yo. man. I mean, yo, that shit yeah. crazy, man. When I heard that shit, I was like, this motherfucker. Fucker. I said, okay, let me hear what he doing. Uh, the hook. When I heard that hook, like the when they, 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 hook they, they, going they, on right now, I said, and I'm so excited. Nigga got him again. <laughs> <laughs> I got a new flex, and I think I like it. I got a new flex added to the cipher. Yo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. So good. Great record. <laughs> Yo. Woo! 
I, yo, I said this nigga got another one. Yo. yo. <laughs> <laughs> this is nasty. And this afternoon, and he's making the fucking movie up there. The yo, this video. Really, oh, no. We've been like, yo, I, I got up today, five in the morning, went to see Buck in Connecticut. Mm. Morning show. You know, I mean, you know, we stay on our grind. We like, we've been, we've been in this business so long that our bodies are built to do this. Like, you know, I be having like my man Rich Player with me. Rich Player ran a corporate company. And you know, nowadays what you need more is intelligent people that you can really, really trust on your side. So I told him to quit his job and he was the boss of the shit. Wow. I said, I'm going I'm gonna uh double your salary, come with me, let's rock. And that ain't been putting in work for years. Man, they gonna be walking around with me like, yo, another spot, y'all. I'll be like, yo, we gotta go. <laughs> Nigga gotta go. I come in the crib <laughs> two in the morning. Four in the morning, I wake up, take a shower, brand new, shave, dressed up. I'm in the lobby. The, the man in the lobby is like, hey, Mr. Joe. He's like, huh? What happened? Like, yo, my man, we got to go Connecticut, man. We got to get this grind going. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's our life. That's what we signed up for. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's the only way. You know, there's a certain, you know it, because you know me really, really well. But there's a certain, see, people, they don't just feed off your energy they know you so when you really got something they expect you to go crazy they expect to see you everywhere they expect yep. you to, they're like mm, we've seen this movie before right that guy acting up <laughs> yep. he up there with philippe child bottles this he's acting uh oh we've seen this before it's, <laughs> we're celebrating prematurely it's going <laughs> uh oh it's going down you know what i'm saying and that's and that's how the and that's how you got to do it, man. I mean, like, you know, it's a certain energy. People f feed off the energy. Do wild. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, man, do I got him doing a set tonight. You know how to keep it authentic, man. You know how to keep it right. Come on, Joe. Come on, man. Fire tonight. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Bounce master. But, yo, Joe, on some real shit, not just because I know you, I fuck with you, mm -hmm. but I'm telling everybody in the world right now that's listening, there's no way we cannot put Fat Joe is one of the greatest of all time at this point. Joe, <laughs> you're over 20 years with yeah. hits. Over yeah. 20, like, do you understand what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's cats that was around in mid, early 90s, that the only thing they could do is hit their fucking wife when they're mad. Damn. You understand what I'm saying? That's, that's all they can do is, is catch a fucking charge because they're bitter and angry that, Shh. Joe, you making hits, you touring. Like it's crazy. Like yeah, well, you, you were able Leo to do too, this. Yeah, man, we really doing Madison Square Garden and Staples Center and all that. Like we really, we really catching bodies out here with the, you know, Atlantic City. We got a big one tomorrow too. It's like, um, it's two things I'm doing. Right, I'm pushing the legacy forward. So I'm, I'm I am the true meaning of it's a marathon, not a race. Because there was a lot of rappers that were better than me. When I came out and I had to get better and step my skills up and 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 adapt to the game, whatever, right? So those guys, now it's a it's a marathon. It's like, oh my God, this guy's pulling away. He's he's pulling away because it's so hard for them to be current and come up with a hit again, again. Now it's so Did I say hard. again. Don't just no, say again. No, again. Somebody right? will carry it. And what happens is then the other aspect of it. So that's what I'm doing, letting them niggas know, like, yo, y'all was sleeping on me, but look at what's going on now. But in the same time, I'm repping them. Mm. Because we got a subliminal war going on between the bullshit and the real shit. Know what I'm saying? And you ain't got enough bullshit. So when I gave this record to one of the biggest program directors in the planet Earth, he hit me back and was like, Finally, I could play a record I love. Mm. Mm. That's crazy. Mm. So, it's like that's that's the void. It's like oh, you <laughs> you can listen to the station and actually like this record. Yeah, cause we all trying to be like we know what's popping. So we like picking them bookies, looking them by. Yeah, <laughs> hey, hey. So nigga don't want to look like he off beat. <laughs> right, right. Like, we know his shit trash. <laughs> I'm doing crack too. You know what I'm saying? Right? So <laughs> we, we, we fucking with it, you know? But we like, yo, B, come on, my nigga. Yeah. Where's that real shit at, man? Yeah. And then Give me a break. every now and then some real shit sneak through. You know, Jay-Z album. That nigga Ooh. went platinum in three days. 
doing that real shit. He Rick t- Ross some shit sold a hundred thousand first week, real hip hop. So you gotta understand there's a way to do it, and I feel like it's a resurgence coming back, and that's what we're doing. So when I see people I came up with since day one, you know I let them know they know it's a part of me fighting for that era, for for that quality of music of what we used to put out. So you know that, that it's a double edged sword, man. It's a double edged sword. Wait, hold on. Before we do anything else, we've been talking for a minute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that can't slam. Eight and eight, shape four five, street street for radio DJ K Slate, John King in the building, <laughs> asking Ray in the building. Fat Joe, I had to do it, Joe. I had Yo, to pull one out for incredible, you. Incredible, bro. What you did about eighty bars? Nah, or that some gotta shit? go on like, like Fat Joe's Hall of Fame. Yo, like, nah, for real though. Like that was like I was going crazy. You, 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 you caught uh, probably the best of me, the best run, because I don't know what it was. I was like, I guess. Pun hat pass A lot of people Were sleeping on me And you kept calling me Like yo Joe New tape Come on let's go Let's go Let's go And that was like Pushing me I always say that If Fat Joe One of the One of the If Fat Joe Was like so rich That he didn't have to work If I went in the studio For a year straight I swear to you I ain't lying to you I would come out With the most hits Anybody ever heard In their life Mm. Like It would just be Disgusting Disrespectful Like it would be like Yo kill this nigga Cause this is too (laughs) This is too much Going on Cause I know how To make these hits And then You caught me At a time Where it was like It was so much Controversy So much going on And you You the drama king So you call me up Hype me up Yo what's up (laughs) Let's go, let's do this, baby. Let's knock these niggas out. <laughs> throwing, a, this, that. Yeah. throwing a battery, battery. in my Super back. Battery. I'm Super going battery. crazy. I'm hearing shit I did in there. I can't even do no more, man. It's like, you know when you try to dance now? Back in the days, you could have did certain shit you can't really do now. You got to <laughs> grease your sides and stuff. To, 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 you know, you stretch. Gotta, you got to really go hard for that move. I'm listening to these rhymes like he was none of doing them. So then when then I was like awesome. I was really trying yeah. to black out. Yeah. No, you, I don't work as hard anymore. I caught a lot of good moments. <laughs> a lot Ooh. of good. A lot of good ones, man. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. I got the freestyles for days. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? But um That one was crazy. You still got it though. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, man. excited. Like, yeah, we bodying these niggas. That that Cali Billy Ocean. That that um just, you know, I mean I ain't gonna lie to you. See, the thing with me is I'm really realistic. You know what I'm saying? So it was a time where I felt where I was all right. It was a time where I felt like I had to get better. So Nas and the Migs came out. So I had to step up my game. Uh, second album, that's from Doo Wop, was doing shit for me over there. You know, that second album was it's my favorite album. Somebody asked me today. It was like, to me, it was my breakout album. I was so scared because, like, Flojo was like ABC rhymes, to be honest with you. Boys should check it. The niggas was coming out like, Sneaker Uzi on the island in the army jacket down. And, 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 and Jay-Z was coming through with the, you know, <laughs> with, with coming with his reasonable doubt. So it was like, lyrically, niggas was just going ham. Yeah. So it was at one point I was actually scared. Where I was sitting there, I said, look. I either got to learn and step my shit up, or I'm out of here. It's, That's it's right. Simple. And then that never changed. 20 years in the game, it's some new shit. Like before I came out all the way up, um, with no disrespect, it was really hard for a nigga from New York to catch a hit, like a real hit mainstream because the niggas was doing a different diddy bop they was doing so i had to go in there and get high with niggas you know i don't get high i'm drunk i'm, high. I'm at a jamaican shit i'm trying to see what they what, what they drinking in toronto my nigga i'm up in there like jamaican shit niggas playing a bunch of songs i never heard i'm in the atl i'm in miami i'm in washington heights i'm on, i had to catch it like i was yeah. like yo I got to live this shit, nigga. Like, I got to be in here so I can... And then I figured it out. I was in a club in um, Washington Heights. This shit was incredible. It was some shit called Un Ching. And what people don't understand, I might be giving these niggas too much science, right? <laughs> what, nah, for real. Like, if, they, if a nigga can clone me, then he, he's good, right? Like, So, I go to the club. Like, my wife don't believe me. 
But I go to the club like if I'm in um I'm sorry about that, that's my daughter. But I go in the club like i I'm in a classroom, like I'm in college, and the professor's teaching and everybody's learning. When I go in the club, I see what she like, I see what he like, I see what the drug dealer like, I see what the dude over here like, I see what they bopping to, I think, and I just sit there, and you might think like, yo, this nigga's whack. Fat Joe is like, cause I'm just standing there. You know, now I might smoke a hookah and just look at it. And I'm really studying people to see mm, what they react to. So everything. we're all the way up. Mm. It was pretty much niggas was going, I'm selling dope. Up off the iPhone. And then they ke they kept reacting to shit that meant like, they, I'm all the way up. Like niggas, you know, anything that come, that was, um, anything that come, that's my son. Why the <laughs> fuck is shit still ringing? Um, so it's like. They react to like triumph to shit that make them feel like they that nigga. They can stand in the club, couple of chains on, some shit come on. They're like, yeah, I'm that nigga. I'm that. So that's when I peeped it and I was like, oh shit. These niggas are all the way up. It was like a Dominican nigga. He had the slick hair back with 10 chains on. <laughs> that nigga was sitting on the couch. He had the fucking ace of spade in his hand. He was fronting crazy. Fat <laughs> Joe just sitting down watching him. And he kept, and I was like, that's it. These niggas want to be all the way up. Let's go. But it took me to go in that motherfucker, bump, bruise, being shit. I don't really want to be in that motherfucker four or five in the morning. They was really getting killed everywhere I was at, too. Yeah. By the way, no. Yeah, I, no I was leaving clubs, and two minutes later, they're like, yeah, three niggas got shot. Um, what's the shit in Webster behind the White Castle? The little spot that they got there, the Dominican niggas? Right behind White Castle on Webster Avenue in the Bronx by Tremont. Well, anyway. I ain't gonna lie, I don't go to them spots no more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never the been slay. there. It's a bullet scar. It's a yeah, bullet scar. Exactly. So yeah. I was up in there one night, left, turn on the news, New York one, nigga, three niggas shot, bouncing in the chest. All right, cool. I go, God bless, because I knew the nigga too, um, do. From um, Washington Heights, I go up in there, I chill. Soon as I leave, niggas stabbed him to death. I go over here, like niggas, where I was at, they was killing niggas. But I had to get the texture, the vibe. I had to go up in there and be like, yo, what the fuck is going on, my gotta nigga? Gotta get dirty again. It gotta get dirty. Yeah, it had to put on your fatigue. Nah, everybody don't want to sacrifice like that. Yeah. Yo, I love this conversation just because when we first started the show tonight, we had a young kid in here who, like, oh, you know, Slay was trying to school him and teach him, but. I was saying that, like, you know, with Jay dropping 444, you know, rock stars die on stage performing. Like, why can't rappers do that? And you're sitting here 20 years of, like, just good fucking music. And you, you like you saying, you went to the trenches to, like, see what people like, what they're doing. And it's just it just makes me feel like rap. Why can't rap? Rappers can do that. We Y'all can perform can. forever the on stage. Is, the problem is a lot of niggas laid down. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, Slay's a fucking Leo, so he ain't never laying down. <laughs> what I said, right? you lay down so in the dirt, you go Now die. you lay down. So what happens shit. is these labels, right, they take a young nigga. Most of us never had shit. Right. Right? So they take some young niggas who's very talented, let's say a DMX, whoever, just me too, everybody. Mm -hmm. They take them, they see they talented, they big them up. Then they make millions and millions of dollars off these dudes. And when they feel like these guys ain't as valuable to them, they throw these niggas on the street to be homeless. Right. So, you know, and then most of these guys, the thing that really saved me is that I don't get high. So even though I had, you know, shit obstacles, mad obstacles against me, I always was focused looking at everything. I, I seen everything coming. Now, if I was to get high, I never would have been here all these years later. So now what happens is... They throw us in the street. So what niggas do, niggas before us, it wasn't even our fault. Niggas before us was just laying down. They was like, all right, I'm old school, fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, give Accepting me my old it. school check. I'm good, this, this, that. When the nigga told me, yo, Joe, I sold a half a million records. And the nigga told me I'm a failure. Because cause I, I did sell two million. Then I sold half a million. And T.I. came to Atlantic. And he sold like two million records. And they was like, yo, man, you a failure. And I was like, damn, I'm a failure. And I went home that night. You know how we do, we think. And I, I don't know how the shit ringing, Slade. The shit, Man, the shit is it. off. Look. Don't worry about it. I don't know how these niggas ringing. About it, correct. Right? That's family. My phone cool. fucked up. I need a phone. So <laughs> I go like this, right? So I get home that night. I couldn't sleep. And I was thinking, I was like, well, you know what? A half a million niggas bought this record. 
and these niggas calling me a failure. Now, if I went independent and got seven dollars a record, I'll be making three and a half million. million these dollars. niggas ain't but giving me a half a million up front as an advance. Right. So I did the math. So I came back. I said, you know why? I came back the next day. You are right. I'm a failure, and guess what? I'm going underground. You're never going to have to worry about me. I'm going to make hip-hop, underground records. You'll never see me at an award show or anything like that. The niggas let me go. I'll put out Make It Rain. That's just so three and a half million. <laughs> 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 I've been killing them niggas ever since. Man. There you go. Hey, yo. Uh, nah, you, go. you just can't lay down. Oh. But they want niggas to lay down, and most niggas lay down. And it's sad because there's so many artists that still had the talent to put hits out the park, but didn't do it. And at that, didn't learn the business. You know what I'm saying? I came in the game since I was 14. I've been on the streets. I've been an entrepreneur. So when I came in the game, it was more of a hustler trying to be a rapper. I love hip hop. I was an MC. But I really was trying to figure out how to get to this cake. Like right. I was since I walked in, it wasn't, it was different. It was mm -hmm. like niggas want to be the best rapper. I was thinking about how I'm gonna get to this money, how I'm gonna get my own shit, how I'm gonna make moves like that, like what I'm gonna do. So I was studying from the minute I walked in the door. When I ain't know nothing about the music business, how I ran, marketing, promotion, budgets, and all that, I always came in with like so I said, all right, so they buying the brick at 20, cutting it down to 40. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm using my own terminology. Yeah, exactly. Like, ooh, this is what these niggas is? Oh, and that's the connect. We can never diss him. And let's be careful how many niggas we introduce to him because then we, <laughs> that nigga going to cut us exactly. off and fuck with them. So I was just like, I was with the street mentality, just looking at the whole it's business. It's all like, you know, And it was just niggas was using fancy words, and then I realized... Business is business is a hustle. Simple as that. Good product is always going to sell. Hey, today, Shade 45, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K Slate, John McKing in the building, Ashley Ray in the building, hey, yo, nope. Fat that Joe in the building. Hard, boy. So, that's my first that's single, man. That shit retarded, Shake bro. Yeah, shout Who's the up. producer? His name is Suits. Track of Tear Music. You know what I'm saying? Track No, no, no. Hey, Italian brother. One of the brothers. Like, <laughs> I yeah. remember you told me about this nigga. Yo. Yo, that beat is stupid. He got... he Not got shit is crazy. He got 17 tracks on my project, man. He's versatile. I don't care what it is. If it needs to be played over, it will be. Every chord or whatever to where you go to court, you can't get sued. All that. He's one nah, of those. You got, right. yeah, yeah, He's yeah. one of those. That beat right there came in hard. And then Ross, you know. Yeah. Shout out to Ross. Two Ross, chains. Two chains. Kevin, Kevin Gates. Gates. Shout out to them. The Big Brother is coming September 22nd. I got 72 <laughs> artists. 72 <laughs> artists on this project. That's yeah, crazy. Don't lay down, what? Man. Yeah, you can't. If K Slay ain't got a bunch of artists on something, he got a bunch of bad bitches on something. Yeah, there goes Joe. The fucker other. won't stop, man. There goes Joe. Come on, Yo, man. Every year, he be having some type of party. I be dying to go to it. Every having a concert somewhere. I'm like, damn, I missed the, the anniversary for Straight Fire. And now, Friday. talk about parties. My birthday bash. Oh, I'm doing on the God. 17th. I got 50 Cent and Tommy from Power hosting. Oh, okay. man. Already I got Delicious in the building. I got Malaya Michelle. I got Cherokee the ass. Oh, I got, listen. Man. It's what one day of those, is this? The that's 17th? the 17th. That's a Thursday. Where you doing it at? At Club Angels. Very big spot. In you Queens. Know what I'm yes. Yes. Shout yeah, out to Fat Fat Master Joe Flex. Coming. Fat Joe coming. Fat Master Flex Fat is on Joe the coming. set. Fat Joe it's, coming. It's yeah. going to be one of those. Yeah, Fat Joe coming to that. Yo, huh? yo crack. Your birthday right behind this birthday, right? Yeah, my birthday the 19th. Yeah, yeah my birthday yeah. the 14th, but oh. I'm celebrating on the 17th. Yeah, we late. Yeah, Pre celebration, yeah. Joey? Yeah. We've been, we going to celebrate in that yeah. motherfucker. We're going to celebrate everywhere, to be honest with you. That's what's I'm up. going on my birthday to Atlantic City um, on the 19th. My man Matarano, they got the Il Italian restaurant, so he's going to throw right. a little. Food birthday party for me, so we gonna violate, eat all type of shit. The next day we back on the diet. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> treadmill, we gonna, yeah, <laughs> treadmill power. That, that's the key, though. Yeah, you could be doing great. You fuck up one day, next day act like you ain't fuck up. 
Right. Get back on that machine. Don't burn cause, it off. Because once you fuck up and you be like, yeah, I fucked up yesterday. I should fuck up today. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's when it's over, bro. That's yeah. when the battle's <laughs> over. <laughs> you threw the towel in. Then you, stop, then you stop getting on the scale for right. a few days because you don't want to You don't want to be like upset. You fuck understand? the calorie count. Like. Then once you finally do it, you're like, nah, B. I ain't going out like yeah, that. Exactly, yeah, exactly, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm in love with uh, ice cream. Mm. So that's my biggest downfall. So like Plenty. everything else, like like ice cream, I, I this is my biggest downfall. But this white dude, he said, "Yo, what's your biggest downfall? Like, what's your biggest obstacle?" I said, "Ice cream." He put me onto some shit called Halo Top. The whole pint is two hundred calories. What? One gram of sugar in this shit is so good. Wait, bro. wait, so run that they back got red time. velvet, <laughs> peanut butter. Like, so if you took a slice of bread, it'd be three hundred calories. If you took one cookie, it'd be three hundred. This whole shit, you could sit there and watch Power with the whole pint. <laughs> That's crazy. And really feel like, oh shit, that nigga. Put, and it's protein. It's not even carbs. Like the nigga put me on a seat. Said no problem. There's something called Halo Top. A wow. little bit more expensive, but you know, it's no. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm coming to a retailer near them. But you, like, can live like, like, and it, you can live longer. You can live longer. Well, I hope we can live longer because we're not guaranteed shit. Niggas is dying every day. You're right. I mean, right. health wise, you know what I'm saying? Health wise, we trying. Yeah, we trying. Yeah. You know, some niggas don't try them. You be like, all right, I know they died. My school teacher just died up. Shout out Luis Torres. Up in the Bronx, they sent me a picture. I was like, damn, this nigga was the coolest nigga, but he died of a heart attack. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when niggas, niggas, niggas just go too bad, like niggas get high every day, they drink every day, they eat at whatever time they want, they this, 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 they're really putting themselves in jeopardy. Right. And tough. then you look at some niggas, they the fattest niggas you ever seen in life, and they happy and they live to 70, 80. Right. It's really God. It's really, I don't know, man. That's it's real really talk. God, man. Because I see a dude on a certain dude on, the, on Instagram. I don't know who he is. And he be tucking the, the fucking AK-47 under his stomach. Oh, oh I ain't see that nigga yet. That nigga, his stomach Yo, is here. Oh, trail like, homeboy. Yo, Shit. That's trail down homeboy. Down, listen, stomach down to his knee. Like, he'll sit the AK-47 there like this or whatever, then pull it out and start bucking it and sit it back. What? Like, that's how, it, his, how long it hangs. He can't be less than what? What you say? Seven hundred? What you think about? Yeah, but he can't like, see his dick up. right now. Right. Right. Like, I don't want to get shot by the years. AK. Yo, yo, Slay. <laughs> I ain't fucking with you. Yo, Slay. I don't want to get shot by the AK, but this nigga ain't seeing his dick though. Yo. In nah, years. he can't see that thing. Yo. Right there. <laughs> he gotta stop. Yo, like, I see. He, right. One spot, one time he was with. <laughs> he had some stop. chicks and she was lap dancing up, but she oh. was lap dancing the stomach. The stomach. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> he ain't even trying to lift it up. Yo, that like, bitch yo. was like a bib to that nigga. Like, you know, you go to the restaurant, you get a bib. Hey, you eat lobster. <laughs> yo. That nigga had that bitch as a bib, my nigga. Like, yo. I mean, but yeah, man. If some niggas don't give a fuck, man. And they ride it out to the, whatever. My manager and one of my best friends ever, rest in peace, uh, full flex. This nigga was six packed up, cock diesel. Yeah. He caught a heart attack in the gym. And he died last year. And this nigga was six packed up cock diesel. And he was going hard in the gym and he fell out. So we don't never really know. Yeah. We try to go by the science and say, yo, let's right. work out. I work out every day. You know what I'm saying? I, every every day, bless you. Every day I go to Thank the you. gym, I see the same ladies working out. Same. I got to give it to some niggas, man. It be, it's this one old man. He chubby too, so he must eat a bunch of shit at night. <laughs> but that <laughs> motherfucker be on that treadmill every day, B. That's I see him. Yeah. I see him. Every day. I don't talk to these niggas. You know, I don't talk <laughs> yeah. to these niggas too tough. Yeah. If, you, if you live near me, that's just like, yo, what's up, my nigga? And I'm keeping, I don't want to hear none of your shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Where I, I live, I don't, I don't care how want, your day was going. Yeah, I don't like... want none of that shit. Don't talk to me. Yo, Joe, what you, nothing. They mm -hmm. they get the message like, yo, this mm -hmm. nigga, this nigga Fat Joe ain't fucking with you where he live. He, right. he, yeah. he ain't get, but I do be seeing certain people in the gym all the time. I be like, damn, they dedicated. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Good shit. I, you got something else you want to say? I, I really want to ask this, just like for the culture, like so. Right now we in a, a period. I know we about to be done, but I, I want to know. Nah, we we need to know. All right, so like everybody's like we're in this nostalgic era, like all these movies, mm. like the Pac movie. Like the only person that I think could make this happen, or is maybe thinking about it. Like we need a pun movie. Like the Man, kids need that to know. Be funny, you talk about a fat nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga pun was on something else, man. He was like. uh 
He was different, man. He lived, he, he was so smart. He was so intelligent. But then again, he lived in an unrealistic world. Right. So a ton of by, pun of by water guns, him and Nori, and be, it's the only Benz in the Bronx, the wide body 600. <laughs> and he's shooting old ladies in front of the, the supermarket <laughs> with the water gun. Like they're not going to He's throwing him. eggs at niggas, this and that. The cops I knew would come up to me like, yo, Joe, bro. We know it's Big Pond. <laughs> He's pulling up at 600 bands. We love him. He's Boricua, bro. But please, we're going to have to put him in jail shooting the old ladies. This nigga was crazy. Man. The nigga was, Can we see his that on the big joke, screen? I hope so. I don't know. No, I hope so. You know what I'm saying? I don't shoot down nothing, you know, but me and his wife, we don't really, you know, we don't yeah. rock. So it's like, it's, it's, it's a whole, you know, unfortunate. That needs to be told, though, like the kids. Yeah, I seen, I met Pun one time. That's the craziest thing. For real? And it was at the Wedge. And I was with my man Chip Banks. <laughs> Rest in peace. I was with my man Chip Banks. We come in and he goes, yo, what's up, Pun? Yo, this is Case Play. He goes, yo, what's up? He was like, yo, what the fuck you doing? And he said, what the fuck y'all doing here? <laughs> <laughs> like, you understand? <laughs> so I gave him my CD. He was like, yo, this shit got blends on it because I only like blends. Like, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah it got blends. He was like, yo, yeah. good looking out. Like, you know, and I was like, come on, Chip. Like, you know, because I ain't one yeah, of them niggas in the strip club. Incredible. I don't fuck with people because I don't like people fucking with me. But it was, you know, Pun that was like. Pun had an time. And I remember one time I went. You know, Jimmy's Bronx Cafe was my house. Oh, God. But for <laughs> some reason, listen, listen to this. For some reason, I went up in there one day. It was like too deep. And it was just a whole different crowd or whatever. So I'm in the bathroom. And he's these big niggas, man. It's like eight niggas Big niggas, the, the biggest niggas you can see in the bathroom. They were like, oh, look at this nigga. He in the hood. Like, I was really in the hood at that time. So I was like, what the fuck you mean? I'm in the, it's my hood. Nigga, I run this shit. Yeah. Huh? So we get into a little bit of words. We walk. All right, cool. I'm icy. I'm in Jimmy's Cafe. The last place you think Joe going to get it is there. Go by the bar, a couple of other words. I'm like, you my man. Y'all niggas, you know, can I curse on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck my dick, my nigga. Get the fuck out of here with that. So I'm, I'm talking reckless, but in reality, it was only two of us. Mm -hmm. It was eight. These niggas had to be football players or, <laughs> or off-duty bouncers, my nigga. Right? <laughs> so I'm sitting, and, and they want the shit. Like they are, like <laughs> they, they trying to rob me, nigga. They trying to pound me out and take my shit. Like fuck that, Joe. <laughs> niggas, I see. Let's keep fucking with him. Because he going to pop off and we going to fuck him up. It's the eight niggas cock these, right? And I don't want to, I never, the last thing you want to do, stay is make a distress call. When you got to call niggas, be like, yo, my nigga, it's shit, it's shit crazy over here. Yo, right? Yeah. Yo, sis. Oh, it's ready. Uh, hey. We working. Ah. <laughs> Let me call you back, sis. I call you back. Woo! Yo, Pat Post. Look, oh man. What's up, son? Hey, uh, <laughs> ah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas crazy. Where you at? The sun is sunny. Woo! Well, like they West Coast. Then. All right, all right, all right, all right. I call you back. Yo, oh my God, she's wilding. So listen. So in any case, late right? So I'm walking out the club. We too deep. These niggas following us. You know what niggas want it, right? Yeah, exactly. So they keep talking shit. I don't know what happened. All you hear is the sound sister going, fire and desire. <laughs> shit bouncing off the walls. <laughs> this and this and that. And this, this is crazy. This is why I tell you this nigga was my angel. This nigga turns the corner. Tina Marie Rick James Fire. And he comes out the window. He got two guns. <laughs> What's up? Ba -ba! I'm like, yo, it's like four in the morning. I'm like, I heard somebody wanted B. Who won it? I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, pun, what's up? This nigga's double platinum, my nigga. I'm like, yo, pun. You you know, pun. I'm always watching my investment, too. Yeah. Like, yo, pun, chill. Them niggas just looking. He was like, I give it to anybody, papa. I heard you got a pro Somebody must have called a nigga and told a nigga, like, yo. Like, Joe got problems. And you know, Joe don't make them them smoke signals. Yeah. That nigga came with the two. He caught out that car. He would get out the car 
and the whole shit would go up. So, <laughs> <laughs> niggas like, what's up? And he knew who the niggas was. He was looking, he was like, who won it, B? Who won Them niggas start walking the other way. I was like, nah, part, nobody wanted my nigga. No way. Like, like, Come on, man, let's get back in the car, man. Let's go. I don't know who snitched, who called that nigga. Who put the bat but, signal out, but... But it wasn't Now that junk. nigga was crazy, man. I watched him knock a nigga out. Like, here's why we... You see, people don't believe me because when when I look now and we know we just been talking about health, um, he was really a big nigga. He was in jeopardy. But we didn't know. He was young. We never thought you 20 years old. You ain't going to die, my nigga. Right. But this nigga was so strong, bro. One day some nigga was talking shit. We playing softball in the Bronx. Nigga was fucking, y'all fucking with pun, this, and y'all, man, fuck that shit, this, is that, cool, cool. So I said, yo, come over here. You know how you play softball and you got the, the metal gates? Like, the gate, a fence. Yeah, go on. Fly? Yeah. Money came close. This nigga pun. Knock this nigga out through the other side of the gate. Boom! Nigga hit the nigga. Nigga was out on the floor. Ambulance and everything. We trying to act like we don't know who hit the nigga. Yo, that nigga Locking hit so fighter. fucking hard through the gate. Through the gate, we on this side. The nigga was over there. I said, yo, come here, papa. Come here, papa. The nigga came close. He said, boom, nigga got knocked out through the gate. I'm like, yo, what? The, the nigga was inhuman, man. Oh, we was man. like, yo, that nigga was so strong. But um, a point movie would be crazy. I feel like the culture needs it. Just no, saying. no, they really do. I mean, the culture really does need that. And you know. You know, I'm from Spanish Harlem. You understand what I'm saying? So I know I, I grew up with Latinos, and my mom's was from St. Lawrence, so I was always back and forth. We haven't had a strong Latino joint since Carlito's Way. Ooh. Think about it. Think about it, crack. Yeah, I mean, I know it was one joint with y'all in it where, where yeah. you was on the couch. Who was you, you with the shotgun? The Empire, the Empire. Nigga, yeah. like, nigga did you dirty. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know. Are, you know yeah. what's crazy is we met with the Weinsteins yesterday. And we talking about doing joint, doing a movie on my man Kato from Shot Town. You knew Kato. Come on, man. Rest you know, the, I was the biggest nigga nah, in the game. I got the illest story. I got to tell that one. All right, one. let me hear that one. Rest I'm in, in Chicago. Kato. First time in Chicago, Jalen Rose weekend. I'm out there. I'm with my man Mingo and Smoke. I ain't got no whip. I ain't lying. I ain't got no whip. I hit Macho. I said, Macho, don't you got people out here? Whatever. I'm trying. <laughs> and Macho said, hold on for a second. He said, Slay, this dude is going to call you right now. Dude calls. It's Cato. I don't know Cato for anyway. He said, where you at? I tell him the hotel. He pulls up. He has a Range Rover. Then he gives me a bag. He said, yo, here, just hold it. I'm like, all right, I'm, I don't know if it's music, whatever, this and that. I just put it in my hotel room. Like, I'm not thinking about anything. He said, what you need? You need us to come to the club, hold you down, this and that. So I'm a little nervous with people too nice to me too quick. And then, you know, like, because I'm in Chicago. I know how they give it up. I was like, you know what? Nah, we cool. But if you come out, it's love. We go to the event, we do Jalen Rose shit. Everybody there, Scarface, um, the chick that played in the Players Club, you whatever, the, the mm. fine lights. Like, anyway, we need that. Later <laughs> on, when I get back to the room, I'm like, like, fuck this nigga, give me this bag. It's ten thousand dollars in the bag. I call Macho, I said, Macho, what the fuck is this? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was like, Yo, you caught me. You said you needed the deal. I was like, Yeah, but do I owe him? Like, you understand? Like, yo, who does that? Like, He's you understand what I'm saying? Yo, who does that? And then the next time I seen him was at the video shoot with Genuine. We all had to learn. Yeah, he, he was sitting there. He, he was grabbing chain. my chain. Yeah, you remember? Like, you it was the like crown. the crown. Like, and it was like, yo, this dude, like, out of nowhere. I ain't never have nobody do no shit like that on a phone call. Like, you understand what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. Yo, like, that nigga, let me tell you something. When I met Kanye West. I see Kato, they like 20 deep. And they fuck, you know, they used to feed all the black niggas. You know, yeah, he was the biggest cool. connect. You know, he got yeah. killed by El Chapo. Real talk. Like, directly. Like, you know, they, they said that's, a, that's how big he was. He was the English speaking nigga for Chapo in America. And the nigga turned around and he got this one black dude with him. So I said, yo, Kato, man, who's, who's the black dude with you? It's Kanye West, he's a producer. Yo, Kanye, put my bags over there. This, this, that. Nigga, Kanye West, when I met him, he was carrying his Louis luggage, putting it over. This Louis Vuitton Dom, my mm -hmm. nigga. He was like, he's a producer. I bought him a bunch of equipment and shit. He's, he does the beats. 
Yo. That's, that, Yo, that's yeah, crazy. That it, is wife. He's I'm humble. Tell you, it's like his humble. Wife, like, this is the humble worst. Humble as fuck. This wife. I can't verify anything, but you know. You can't run Chicago and your gun go don't go off. Like, it must be legendary out there, right? But, you know, we read through the lines. We mind our business. I got a concert. They waiting for me at the hotel. I pull up. It's about 100 niggas. I drive up. It's 100 niggas. Then it's his wife. His wife was the first bitch to, to have the fake titties, ass slim. Bitch was like a wide body kit like this with a pasties on her nipples. And I'm like, yo, okay. You know you when you try to act like you don't see exactly. a bitch butt naked in the middle of the street yeah, yeah. that look like a UFO, nigga? Right. Like, you know these niggas get the killing quick? Mm-hmm. Yo, okay. <laughs> yo, yo, this is, nigga Raul, the nigga in our crew that's like, you know, the ladies when he gets out the car, yo, <laughs> what the fuck is, yo, nigga? <laughs> Kill us, nigga. Right, like, get right. the fuck over here, man. <laughs> don't look at her for shit. Exactly. <laughs> like, like she knew, yo, nigga. She had the the nipple rings, nigga, nigga. It was oh, just like, man. don't look over there. <laughs> don't look over there. One day I was, I, we had a party. It was my birthday. I think you was there too. We all dressed up in white. We did a big. Allen Iverson is in there. Kato's in there, one deep, with his wife. This nigga AI was going crazy. This is when AI was like LeBron James. Yeah. Nigga. He was like, oh no, I got to have her. I got to this. I got oh to that. Oh my God. Oh my God. This, 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 this. I had to pull him in the corner. I said, my nigga, they're going to kill you. Right. You ready for early retirement? <laughs> but in the forever? middle of the basketball court on TV. <laughs> you don't want this <laughs> at all. St- don't he was like no, but I never seen me. Either. I never seen no shit like uh, at that time. We see bad bitches yeah. all the time. That time we ain't seen shit like that. It was like a fucking UFO. This nigga was like, I got to have it though. I got. I see your AI. Yo. Let me explain something to you. They're not just gonna kill you. They're gonna kill you in the All Star game on the court. Stop. <laughs> For real yeah. joke, no, bro. This ain't no record. They yeah. gonna give it to you. Yeah, bad, yeah bag up. Yeah, bag up. Off of that. Yeah. Nah, but they, he was my man. He was a beautiful dude. Good and, dude, um, man. Good crazy. dude, yo. Hump, but this the thing. So not that's the loud, movie we trying to pull not off. Not aggressive. Right now. Oh no. Not like humble. Like he humbly pulled up. Yo, Macho hit me. Fat Joe's my people. He ain't hold this. That's you need crazy. a whip. Do you need anything? You need us to come hold you down or whatever, this and that. Humble by itself. You understand? I'm like, so I'm like, nah, nah, you know what? We cool, whatever. You knew when I knew yeah. he was ill, right? He said, uh, uh, we, I went to Chicago to go fuck with R. Kelly. It was like R. Kelly's birthday or something. So over there, you know, Latinos and blacks fuck with each other, but it's different. Like, you know what I mean? Latinos stay with the Latinos and black. Man, and when we pulled up in the black side of town, and then they had threw the whip in the middle of the street and threw the keys like this. And niggas was like, shh, shh. the whole line opened up. I was like, oh, no, this nigga got to be the biggest nigga in Chicago. <laughs> I was like, this is crazy. He threw the shit in the middle of the street. Ah. Shh. Niggas was like, oh, my God. Like, yo, <laughs> you with him? <laughs> hey, yo, nah, that shit was crazy, my nigga. But, yeah, we trying to, we trying to flip the movies for that. I want to see that. That's, <laughs> nah, that's going to be big. And it's a big deal. Like we really yeah. talking to the the powers that be. We really we 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 gonna pull the shit off. And and we know a million gangsters, million killers, million gangsters. This guy was different. This guy Humble. was too different. So you know, out of all the killers and gangsters I know, niggas is like, yo, Joe, what's the one you want to do? I'm like, yo, shh, we gotta do this Kato story. Now that's gonna you be got ugly. R. Kelly in there. You got DMX yeah. in there. You got Joker. <laughs> <laughs> DM- Wait. Yo, this is the last one. I don't know whether DMX was wilding one day or whatever. I don't know, but he called me and go, Yo, Slate, what's up? You got beef with Ja Rule? I'm like, Nah, me and Ja Rule. I don't know, dog, but niggas hit me. Strap up. <laughs> and hang up the phone, right? <laughs> so, like, what the what? fuck? DMX? Yeah, so what? Kato calls me back. He go, yo, Slate, what's up? You good? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck was that about? He's like, yo, man, I don't know, man. Like, don't pay that shit no mind. So, you know me. I make a call, this and this and that, and I hit a certain individual, and they hit a certain individual from Supreme Team. And it was like, I fuck with you. I hit you to do my movie. You understand? Those crime partners, you did it, whatever. Like, 
I mean, what they got love. Like, what the fuck is that? Know, right. DMX is yeah, yeah, exactly. Out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and caught me yeah. one day. I, yo, I got worse. He yo. caught me one day by mistake. I was at a restaurant. Dog! Nigga dives on his knees. As the Lord pray for forgiveness. I'm like, yo, this nigga bugging out. Fuck out of here. Yo, shit. Yo, nigga like, yo. yo, we got to go, man. Yo, Tony says to help that nigga out. Like, get the fuck out of here. Nigga like, I'm out of here. Yo, yo, man, I can't do it, man. And I, I fuck with that. Cause that, shit, that shit bugged me out because it was like DMX. a quick. Yeah, it was a quick. Yo, you love DMX, yo. but it's hard, man. Nigga told like, me I strap feel, up. Yo, I feel bad. Yeah. Yo, listen. It's a street. Nigga listen. tell you something like that. You're like, huh? I feel I feel bad for like the Rough Riders because I know they love them and I know they tried. Like I got a brother to get high. I cried a million times. I took him to a million programs. I spend the nights with him trying to get him off. That shit is a bad, it's, 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 it's a sickness, man. Yeah. Ain't nothing you could do. So I could imagine what them niggas has been going through for yeah. years because they really love them. Like right. I could see that they sincerely love them, but they can't do nothing about the shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It really is an illness. 888 yeah. eight, 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 Street Sweeper Radio. I know they're mad at me outside that door. <laughs> They've been there like 20 minutes. You got some other show to do or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and she been standing one. out there. You know that nigga Sus, Sus one. one got the nose yeah. of the East. That's right. Yeah. You ever know that nigga got the <laughs> 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 shit? I ain't hear that. Yo. This shit is the extendo I, clip. I ain't hear that, yo. I ain't hear that. He smell the Del Frisco. Yo, Crack, I appreciate you coming through, man. God love. bless. I love you. Keep Everybody going. keep that hip-hop going. It's all up. Pleasure, baby. Warning. 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 The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building.